Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of ARK! Um, so, in the last episode, we went out to tame some Archies. So, after the episode ended, I went and tamed a little bit more. So, I've got another 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These two were the ones that we tamed. Um, but their stats were all crappy. In fact, all of these ones' stats were crappy. Um, these two stats were about were the two best stats so let's just show you their stats real quick so this one has got the stamina it's sort of 1460 stamina it's got the f weight of 800 and it's got the melee damage almost 400 which is amazing um, and then this one has got the health of 4200 so yeah, so this is going to be my breeding pair, so I'm going to try and get an RG that's got said, the best stats from both of these. The food and uh, oxygen, I'm not too worried about because that's not really um, a big problem. Um, but yeah, so I'm trying to try to get the best stats um, from these two into a male and a female, and then we'll start um, RG, bre RG breeding. Um, so while we're at the base, I would like to do a quick, oh let's eat real quick, I'd like to do a quick um, base tour, um, it's been a while, um, wasn't really that, but like, but I've changed a bit. So as you guys can see, I'm starting to like, um, trying to get the base a little bit um, more structure, um, inside I'm still busy working, I'm trying to figure out how to do, let's show you guys. how to get those stairs on each one of these panels um, yeah it's giving me a good challenge but I'll figure it out um, oh, well I know how to do it, it's just gonna take some time actually I figured it out already um, so yeah we've got that and then over here I've built a little hatching area so this will be my hatching area we've got our generator in here to power this whole area because I'm gonna put cables all the way till here so this is going to be our little hatching area and then this is going to be where we make our kibble so we've got our farm with all the crops and stuff right over here um, so whatever crops I need I can just pull directly from here into here um, when we hit level 89 I believe it is and we get the double boiler cooking pot things I'll start um, putting the water in here and yeah it will just be a little easier so yes yeah, so and then we've got a dung beetle tower I still need to build this tower a little bit more um, but yeah so this is the base area um, so so as soon as I've got enough eggs I'll start hatching and trying to do our mutations so see you guys in a bit Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so, I've been collecting some RGH. It's not that much, but it's a decent amount. It should be enough to get us started, hopefully. Um, so yeah, so let's throw them out. Um, this might be a little bit too much. Let's pick up a little bit of this. Yeah, this should be better. Um, so basically, what we're going to do is we're going to look at them. We're going to look for the highest level. The highest level we're going to claim and then we're going to look at its stats. Um, the most important part is, is you don't want to imprint these babies because since you imprint it, you don't get the imprinted stats um, to breed with. So, the highest level I see is a 2, 6, 5. Imprint. inventory I don't think is good uh, health is horrible stamina is horrible weight is horrible and melee is horrible I think it's this is still part of the first batch that I actually had yeah well they're all horrible so oh I'm heavy I have on you. Uh, drop this, drop this. Okay. 
probably can, can I'm probably gonna kill that one as well. Um, oh, when you do this, make sure you don't accidentally shoot the wrong dino, because that has happened to me a million times, and it's not fun. I mean, I've killed countless amounts of wyverns and rock columns this way, where you try and nibble them up by killing babies, because it's an easy way to level your dinos, a really easy way to level your dinos. Okay, so after this hatch, if there's nothing good, I'm just gonna... Ooh, it's a 289. That one's a mutation. That actually looks quite nice. So I've got a 289, a 275. There's another 289. Um, yeah, okay. So let's kill the rest real quick. What? What's happening? What am I doing? Okay. What? Yeah, I'm busy breeding Ankies as well right now. Got some Ankies outside. Should be leveling up. I wonder what I killed them. Okay, so let's look at the stats. I'll go figure that out right now. Otherwise, I'll just get the Ankies to breed again because it wasn't a perfect one either ways. So, uh, its health is amazing. His stamina is amazing. His weight's amazing, and his damage is amazing. So what are you, a male? Oh, we've got two males. Um, but I think it's a female that's almost perfect. So if we get these two to live to get um, older, um, oh come on. So if these two grow up, I'm actually just gonna leave them in here. Access inventory. You get some meat. You get some meat. Mm, behavior, disciple wandering. Behavior, disciple wandering. Behavior. Oh, come on. Passive. Okay. You guys are going to stand right here in this corner for me. One's going to be in this corner, one's going to be that corner. Why? Because you've been naughty! No, I'm just joking. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna raise these ones, and in the meantime, if I do get another 289 female, we probably just continue breeding with the 289s. Otherwise, we'll put a 289 with the female, and hopefully, it will give us um, um, a 289 back faster. Oh, here's one still here. Let's kill you real quick. Say hello to my little friend. Mm, let's reload. I see now we don't have any ammo in this gun. Okay, so you can stay right there. Let's get this. Did I get this? There we go. Um. And then let's throw out this one. Apparently I still had one left. I just want to see what this one is with you guys, you know, it's... <sighs> yeah, so after this I'll probably bring you guys back as soon as I get a two, another 289. Um, I won't... Oh! Brought you guys back with another 289. And it's a female! What? Let's just look at its stats. Yep. Perfect. 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 I mean, what's. How lucky aren't we right now? I mean. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> I can't. Wow. I'm, I'm speechless. Like, I mean, what's the chances? Um. 
because getting perfect change like this it's so so hard um, so um, behavior disabled wandering behavior lowest and I mean getting three of them in three different eggs it's not like two of them were twins or anything you know so I got three of them in three different eggs on the first go that's crazy um, okay so you can stay right here I'm gonna give you a little bit of meat okay so I'm gonna let these guys grow up real quick and then once they grow up I'm start breeding with them see if we can get some um, mutations going um, as soon as they're growing up I'm probably gonna get a very first one that I'll probably um, grow and imprint on so that we can have a better RG to go around on and that way we can see what's the base stats of um, imprinted RG, RG at this level and then we can just work from there um, yeah so see you guys in a bit hey guys welcome back um, so we bought the hatch on eggs hopefully we're getting something good from them um, so this is one of the RGs that we've gotten from the original parents um, this is the one I'm going to use to fly around with and until we get the uh, um, RG that we really like so yeah so let's start hatching some eggs so I believe we're going to look for a 291 let's see if there's any 291's This two ninety one. Um, I'll take you. Um, any more? Two eighty nine. Two eighty nine. Okay, I'm gonna put you on fast real quick. On the yeah. I mean, he does do quite a lot of damage. Yes, I'm going to use this as like a training ground for him. I use this as a training... I use this as a training ground for most of my dinos. Okay, let's see what you have. Uh, Max inventory. I just want to get my sticky notes. There we go. Archie, so health is for all... Stamina and nope, weight. He's got a weight mutation. I could keep him. Yeah, let's rename him. Um, options, change name. Call you W1. Accept. Okay, so behavior, simple wandering. Access inventory. Give me this. There you go, and you can follow me now. Okay, let's see what else there is. Oh, I just threw out a hatchet. Okay, so honestly, with the RTs, there's no preference that I have. I mean, I would like to avoid stamina. I feel like the stamina is quite good. Um, Especially after the imprint, but for some reason this one's stamina didn't go up any at all. So I don't know. Let's see what happens Okay, maybe now it went up Okay, so I see one two ninety one um. There's one Here's one. I call them C. Um, that looks like the old and 291 series. So, passive. Let's go. Let's see if there's any. More is popping up here. Oh, 
I'm stuck. Okay. Okay, so let me see what the other ones have. So this inventory, you have a stamina mutation. Yep, so you have a stamina, and what do you have? You have a health mutation. I'll probably keep you. What are you? You're a female, you're a male, you're a male. Okay, so here's the thing how we're gonna decide what we're gonna use. I'll show you guys real quick. Um, you can die, you can die. I'm not gonna use any one of these two. Um, so basically, I have all of these RGs breeding right now. So there's one male between them, and the rest is all female. Um, so what we would like preferably is to keep on getting male mutations that's what we're gonna go for so so baby you can just grow up yeah, as, soon as, as soon as he's gr um, grown up I'm gonna put him up there so I'll probably get them to stop reading right now get him up there and then look for the next mutation so see you guys in a bit Hey guys, welcome back. So I was busy hatching out some more eggs, and we found this lovely red color RG. Let's see if it's a male. Please be male. And he's a male. Okay, now let's see what his stats. So it is a health mutation. Hmm. I think, yep. I don't even think about it. Um, options, change name. Health one. Okay, so this is going to be the RG we're going to go forward with. Um, now, I do have a lot more eggs that I'm going to hatch out and see what else we get while I level up this RG. Um, just to get rid of all the eggs that's there. And if I find something else that I like, I'll bring you guys back. But I really like this red, so I'll probably keep this red for now. Um, yeah, so see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the second round now. Um, I'm trying to hatch some eggs. And I probably hatched like 100 already. And this is the first mutation that I'm getting. Um, I can't see what color it is. Maybe it's the feet or something. I'm not too sure. Or maybe it's the wingtips. But it looks... I don't know. Um, so yeah. So let's see what his mutation is. I think it's weight. Yeah, it's weight. And it's a male. So I've got one health and one options. Um, health, one, weight, one. Okay, so we've got one health and one weight mutation right now. And they're both guys. So I'm going to let this one grow up. I'm going to stop the other one from mating. I'm going to let this one grow up. Um, hatch the eggs that's still in there from them. Um, maybe I get something better, maybe I don't. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna kill the rest real quick and see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, so I'm bringing you guys back. Um, sorry guys, I'm bringing you guys back a little bit late. Um, so I just got this bed, this RG. Um, so the color mutation looks like it's the red on top of the head. So his whole body is red right now. And then the other mutation that I found, let's see if I can show it to you guys. Um, some food. We found some food. If it eats, you can see it. Um, there you guys see the blue. So that's the other mutation that he has, or that the previous one had. So it's all red and blue right now. Um, so yeah, so this is our third mutation. We're gonna let this one um, grow up, and then we can start hatching, start breeding of the next round. Yeah, see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so I'm here hatching some more RGs, as you can see, quite a bit. And I found this little guy right here. 
Now I was thinking of getting rid of the red eventually, so I'm getting rid of it right now. I don't see a bit too big of a problem with that. Um, so I'm gonna tame this guy. Hopefully it's a, a, a male RG. Otherwise, yes, it's a male RG. Okay, now let's see what its stats are. Um, let's get my sticky notes up. So health, no stamina, no weight. Yes. So it's weight. So it's got a three weight, one health. Uh, options, change name. Weight three, health one. Um, okay. So here we have our next RG. Um, there's still like um, 100 eggs that need to get hatched. So I'll probably hatch them as well. I'll put the other ones from stop breeding and then we can see how this goes. I just hope he has the blue underwing still as well. Otherwise, it'll be very, very sad. Um, okay, but see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back. So, we finally got another mutation. These took like forever. I found like five mutations, but all, four, all five was in either food or health, uh, food or um, oxygen, or there was one that was a girl, but she lost all the colors. So I got rid of all of them. Now finally, I got them, and they've added this side to the bottom, which actually looks kind of cool, I think. Um, yeah. So maybe just get the legs different color, and maybe the head a different color. And then this RGs are set for now. Um, so as of this one, it's got another weight mutation. So it's one health and five weight right now, which I don't really complain about because I like having good weight on my RGs. Um, so yes, this is the next pair. So I'll see you guys as soon as they're grown up and we finally get a 301. It could take five days, it could take 10 minutes, I don't know. But I'll see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so yeah, so here we have our RG. I like the way it looks. It looks like this last mutation. Well, I mean, I can't see it changed anywhere else. So I think it might be his feet, or else it skipped this this time. But we've got a 301, and this one is in his stamina. So I just gave him some cooking because my RG is outside. Um, so if you do this, you can see even the wingtips here is blue. Um, yeah, so I believe um, that it was maybe his legs or it skipped this generation um so yeah so all the rgs is tamed up right now i just want to go get my rg and um get some raw meat for the little guy there you are um sorry yep here we go okay so we're gonna give this little guy some raw meat we're gonna let him we, we're not gonna imprint him yet um, I'm gonna let him grow up um, and then I'm gonna breed with him one more time um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for a 301 that has this color scheme um, and then as soon as I find that another 301 that has this exact color scheme um, scheme I'll imprint on that one but I'm still gonna continue breeding the artist I would like to get like a really 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 strong RG um, so this is just for now so I'm happy with the way it looks and so I've got a nice looking RG to fly around with you know and so yeah so I need a name suggestion um, so let me know in the comments what we're gonna call this RG um, a little bit later on you guys will see how it looks when it's big um, but yeah so leave that um, um, leave some name suggestions and then we'll have a decent looking flyer to go around with um, but yeah so I'll see you guys as soon as I have another 301 that we can imprint and start flying around with a little bit see you guys in a bit hey guys welcome back so this is our RG um, I think it came out really good um, the red hair the cyan the blue and black feet I think yeah so this came out really good. So while I was busy with all of the breeding and stuff, I came and I built this. This took forever. Um, 
And this is going to be like my, essentially my flyer pen, but for now it's going to be my, come on, what's happening? Don't, don't do this. Forget, I'm in. But for now it's going to be my RG pen. Um, so I'm probably just going to like park like all the RGs over here. Um, but I'll show you guys what parties I'm going to park right now. So over here is my retired RG. Um, the one that I've been using. He can rest in peace now, you know. But not because he's dead, because he was overworked. And this will be my new one for a while. Um, because I am still breeding RGs at the moment. Um, as you guys can see, I'm over here. So I had like six females breeding, but now I only have the two here. So him with the two, so I'll keep on breeding. Um, to get this RG a little bit stronger and more... Um, and maybe different colors and stuff. But these RGs, I'm going to move over there. That way we can see like the line of RGs, how it went and... So essentially all of these RGs will go in there and then all the new ones will go in there as well. Like, will make like, yeah. So that way when I do reveal the new RG or the next RG, um, we can, can show you guys the progress that went into it and how, it, yep, and all of that stuff. So, yeah, so this is the base. So I kind of built it over here. Um, oh, I need to remove that. I need to come remove that. Um, so I was thinking of making it a multi tower, but then I was like, eh, I'll just build another one for like whenever I get something else, and that one I'll make like a bigger tower. Um, you know, to give like different perspectives and heights and to the base because yeah. The next thing I will do though is I'm gonna build another round onto the house, um, and maybe make those look a little bit better or something. I don't know yet, but yeah. So the next step is to finish the house, give it another round, give it another something. Um, but let's go and kill some stuff with the RG. Um, actually, let's look at its stats real quick after it's been printed. So. Um, Yeah, I mean health is like over ten thousand. That's good. Stamina is sixteen. You came out actually quite good. So what I'll do is I'll probably put like a. I'll get his weight up to twenty thousand, and then his health to ten thousand, um, stamina to two thousand, and the rest will all go into tag damage. Um, so let's go kill the strike. See how much damage we do. My turning circles is horrible. We do a decent amount. So maybe on the next RG I'll probably try and get some attack damage. Um, or some damage. Um, so maybe on the next RG I'll do some damage breeding. And... Um, yeah, to make him a little bit stronger by the time he comes out. Let's kill this guy. Go fight some Rex. Oh, he's glitching out. He's glitching out. Mm. Should we go into the Redwoods? Should we go to the Cliffs to go level this thing up a little more? I think let's go to the Cliffs. And go fight some aloes and ra raptors and maybe a rex or two. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy how this thing turned out. I hope you guys will too because I need to get a badass name for him. Um, yeah. So I guess we won't find any predators today, since we're coming looking for them, you know? Oh, a white drop of ring up. Let's, oh, this Rex right here. Wait, let's see what level it is first. Because I'm about to come tame Rexes, so I need to make sure they're not like super strong when I kill them. And that way we can scout them out as well. Body block him. 
This clearly is not after me for some reason. Oh wait, that's the... Uh, give me the kill though. I don't mind if you, if you do help me damage him, but I want the kill. Okay, cool, I got the kill. So, is this thing attacking me? Okay, so I'm attacking you then too. You can attack me, I'll attack you. Oh, I'm glitching out really bad. I'm not glitching out like this. I was trying to save you! Why didn't you betray me? Now I'll betray you back! Oh, and it was a 180? Damn. Okay. So, let's land here real quick, get some stamina back. I'll get some stamina, let's. Um, let's get the stamina to 2000. Okay, 2100. And then, get some weight in. Oh, wait, half. Let's put some half in. The stamina is full. Let's go find some. Oh, for a second I thought that was an alpha raptor. I was like, what? How lucky aren't I? Okay. On RG, is this this is the best way to fight raptors on RG? Oh, that's a nice one. Let's get him. Pick him up, no. Because otherwise, he can they can pounce on you, you know, and. Any pounds on is really not the most fun. Oh, that was a strong one. Probably should have tamed him. I mean, there's so many raptors. I mean, we'll always find a strong raptor when I want to come tame some raptors. Doing two strands. Oh, Ronto. What? Where did this one come from? I don't know. There's some up here. Let's kill him. There's one there as well. <gasps> one of this a nest here somewhere. What level are you? If I, if I can find a nest, I'll show you guys a cool way how to get an infinite amount of perfect eggs. Because right now all the nests I found is like in super hard to reach places. Um, let's fly around here a bit, see if we can find a nest. Actually, this is not the reason for this video. We're here to up to, um, level up this RG bit. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. And there's a nest. Okay, we can do it. There's another nest. Thirty. Oh, okay. I need to kill them. Ouch, ouch. Fighting two of them at once is gonna be hard. Fighting them one on one. Oh, I need to pick him up. Then pick him up. Okay. So they're both dead. Okay. There's another one. What level are you? 24. They're all super low levels. Mm. 
Okay. Let's run around. A uh, little 60, boop. Um, 24, boop. Okay. I want with the six, I might hatch this one. Okay, but I think this is for today's episode. Um, if you guys liked it, remember to give it a thumbs up. Um, we really need to get a name for this guy. Um, so please give some comments in the... Um, please leave a comment in the comment section. Um, and remember, um, please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bubbles out.